Following the result of the referendum of junior doctors on the proposed new contract, I'm resigning as the chair of the junior doctors committee of the BMA. It is with regret I do so, but I believe to continue would be untenable. I took on this role at the BMA last summer specifically with the intention of fighting the imposition of a fundamentally unsafe, unfair contract and to stand up to a government that I believe was playing fast and loose with the NHS and its future workforce. On the day I was elected, we as a committee decided to ballot for industrial action, having led a campaign that resulted in 98% mandate for industrial action against a 76% turnout, and then forced a government back to the negotiation table twice, I was hopeful that the resulting contract would be acceptable to our amazing membership. However, I believe the fundamental breakdown in trust caused by the government's actions over the last five years has resulted in no solution being possible, particularly when a government is so keen to declare victory over frontline staff. A government's priority is not to declare victory over its workers. A government's priority should be to value those workers and demonstrate that when it has got so, something so fundamentally wrong, it is willing to listen and to engage. Junior doctors, frontline NHS staff, are the very backbone of this country. They are the people that keep one of our most precious institutions functioning, no matter what. I have watched thousands of other doctors, nurses, midwives and patients stand by their junior doctors as they fought for their futures and that of the NHS. As we lurch headlong into a wider crisis of this government's making, I worry that a government that frankly could never be trusted with the NHS now has every excuse to dismantle it, underfund and undermine it. I hope that the next government realises that this vote is a demonstration of just how appallingly frontline staff have been treated. One day when I look at back at probably the most significant industrial dispute of our generation, I will look back with pride at the part I played in leading the most talented, intelligent and caring young people of our generation as they fought for their futures and that of the institution they dedicated their lives to. The next step in that fight is for junior doctors to now consider I hope the government will stop and listen to this message clearly. I hope the government will see just how much damage it has done to the NHS and the dedicated staff that work within it. However, my role as the leader of that fight is now at an end. A vacuum of leadership is the worst thing that can happen. Therefore, I will be stepping down with immediate effect so that tomorrow the committee can make a decision as to its next steps. I want to take this opportunity to thank every single junior doctor in the country who has supported me and the BMA during my time as the chair of the JDC. I also want to thank every single BMA member of staff for working so hard over this year to deliver an incredible demonstration of trade unionism and every other health worker in the country for standing by your junior doctors and supporting them through this trying time. Most importantly, I want to thank the public and our patients for the incredible support I and my colleagues and friends have received throughout this time and I hope you will continue to support junior doctors in the times ahead.